Ugh, okay, still doing this. On a mission to fucking get this done and resolved and called a body of work, but there is much to do before we get to that point, so gotta keep pressing on. We are thankfully at the end of that little stretch of fucking egg potato chips. I don't know, my, my irrational disdain for potato chips flavored with egg is, is legendary at this point. But I was having a conversation with this young woman at a little social function last night, and for some reason, she was indulging listening to me ranting about my potato chips and my potato chip exercise. And I was going into great detail about how disappointing all the egg flavored chips were. And she said something to the effect of, yeah, but potatoes and eggs are such a great American combination. I mean, it makes perfect sense. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Maybe I'm the asshole here. Maybe I'm the idiot. Maybe I'm the narrow minded, closed off, uninspired crank that just can't see that. But I will say that even with that being true, the offerings were fucking pitiful, except for that first one anyway. You could go back and watch all the last recent episodes if you want the, the full real-time experience. Fuck me for having to live it. Now, I'm in the second bag of this three-bag run of chips that was donated by a fellow named Diego, who I've tagged, artist of some type, talented, Give him a follow, make this worth his while in some way. Thank you, sir, for what you've offered me. Now, he sent me three bags of chips from Canada, and they were supposed to be Japanese, but I'm finding now that even the second bag, which is wasabi flavor from a company called Four C's, which I've never heard of. I remember when I was a kid, we used to have Four C's breadcrumbs in the house. Is this the same company? Who the fuck knows? But these are from Canada, as evidenced by the ingredients being listed in both English and French. But this bag of chips is not from Japan. It's from China, like the other one was. So I don't know what's going on here, what's, what, what's happening here. They have this sort of fake, like, Native American pattern on the front and this terrible font for the wasabi. I don't know what this is. This is a real one-off outlier. It's got some strange graphics on the back. See, there's like a cannon shooting a potato through a potato slicer and then these, these two potatoes in love on a stage. It's all in Chinese. I chose not to translate it because sometimes knowing in, in, in is actually not half the battle. So I don't wanna know. But <clears throat> this, we've had wasabi chips before, several times, actually. One of the things that actually got me interested in fucking potato chips to begin with was wasabi potato chips because way back in the day, when the fuck was this, 2012, Lay's started putting out those weird offbeat uh, weird flavors that got me interested in weird potato chips in the first place. And what I realized that it wasn't really my interest in potato chips. Sorry, I'm going to go off here. What my, it wasn't my interest in potato chips that really intrigued me. It was more like I was pulled in by the graphic design because that Lay's, iconic Lay's packaging, you know, with the yellow stripes and then the white in the middle and the red logo and the thing, it's just, it's burned into my brain. It's such like simple, effective package design. You're so used to seeing it in, in those colors in that presentation. And then when they came out with the weird flavors, it was the same bag design, but like different colors. And like my pop art sensibilities just sucked me in. Here's this bag that I've seen for years and years and years in one format. Suddenly there's three that are like different colors and it's just this repetition and seeing it on the wall was just like, wow. It's like buying new Star Wars figures. So I was just like, what are these? They, I remember they had sriracha, they had wasabi and ginger, they had uh, biscuits and gravy, which was blue. The wasabi was green and then they had um, cappuccino flavored chips, which were terrible, but so intriguing with like a brownish color. And I was just like, I have to have these. And of course I made some of the first figures of those that are floating around in the world somewhere. And then they must be trading on the secondary market for thousands. So you fucked up by not getting it while you had the chance. But now we are seasoned beyond seasoning and people are 
asking me about my health and my cholesterol and my sanity as well. And I'll, I'll have you know that it's all in the toilet. Although I'm going to the doctor and I'm gonna have my cholesterol checked, so I'll let you know what's happening in that regard. <clears throat> but let's bring this home now because God knows I need to go home. And we'll talk about wasabi chips. I've had probably several different bags. There was that original one from Lay's, which was pretty weak. And then we had a couple from Japan. One was proposing to be real wasabi because we've, we've analyzed this already, but just to bring everyone up to speed, if you're used to eating Japanese food in the United States and you go to the sort of like a regular run-of-the-mill middling Japanese sushi place and you get that little green blob next to your ginger, that's probably not real wasabi. It's actually horseradish and mustard with green dye because actual wasabi, it's like a root thing. You can't really get it here in America. Apparently it doesn't travel well and it spoils quickly and there's all kinds of rules. I had it once in some restaurant up in Westchester where the guy had it smuggled in and you can really fucking tell the difference. So, and then they've given it away here because in the, ch the translation from Chinese to English, they are not listing these as wasabi chips. They're called SZ, heat wave potato chips mustard. So I can already tell that this is gonna be bullshit. Yeah, wasabi does not appear in the ingredients. So this is probably gonna suck. Thank you, Mr. Diego for the donation nevertheless. Sometimes I really feel like these are more entertaining when I hate the chips than when I like them. So prepare to be wildly entertained because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hate. It smells like preservatives. Very bland looking pale potato chip, <clears throat> thin. Nothing going on. <clears throat> All right, show me what you got. Wow me, impress me. Bowl me over, would ya? what's going on the wasabi flavor is so weak it's only like lingering in the background it's momentary it's not strong and it's so thin that like the preservatives and the artificial flavoring and the gross oil is more powerful than the seasoning, so fuck you for inflicting this on me. It's a bullshit, fake, knockoff, uninspired garbage. So that's what you get after all that. But. Well, I take solace in the fact knowing that I did my due diligence. I swallowed the bitter pill of these lackluster snacks and came out a better man for it at the end. And now finally, looking ahead, I checked out what I got queued up and they are all indeed actual chips from Japan. Oh. It doesn't mean they're going to be great, but I will say, well, I'm having quite a few chips from Japan, and um, I know I expected great things from them, and they were, eh, but I will say, they don't fuck around, at least it's quality. Sometimes the flavors don't always do it for me, but, you know, there's a standard there that I appreciate. I mean, this is this is just for idiots, man. If this is your idea of a good potato chip and like an effective interpretation of the wasabi flavor, your life fucking sucks. 